guys welcome back it's your girl p and yes we're doing another night flirt video oh my gosh okay <sighs> why do y'all like night flirt so much what is so curious what sparks people's curiosity about night flirt i mean it's a really good site to work for um you can make some really good money Consistently, if you're putting in the effort, you can do thousand, fifteen hundred dollar weeks easily. Um, but yeah, y'all just like those videos on my channel, and I wish y'all would start watching my other shit because I'm trying to give y'all personality you now. But anyways, let's talk about night flirt. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna go back to. If you click on my account, if you want to follow along with me. So at this point, I've showed y'all how to set up, how to make sure your call status is on. You should have enrolled in chat. You got your five to six listings going. And we're going to talk about mail. So we've discussed what happens when someone adds you to their favorites, because those will pop up. And the things that you should do, if not, go watch that video. Um... Also, I'm thinking about organizing my playlist on how to make money and separate it from phone sex, cami, and content creation because I've jumbled like 100 videos in that playlist. But quite frankly, I never thought it was going to get so long. So I don't know. We're going to see if I got the time and effort for that. If not, just go through that playlist. You can easily just scroll and see which, what you, what, watch what you need to watch. But okay, so let's click on Compose, and I want to tell you about some of the features here and how they can help you boost your sales. So first off, we got the regular mail. So like I said, everyone that favorites you, you want to send them your tip menu. If you don't do that, maybe send out your tip menu once a week. Also, in regular mail, once a week, I would send out my schedule. So I like to do everything on Sundays. So Sunday night, I would be like, here's my schedule for the week. Here's my tip menu if you're doing any sales or discounts, maybe on custom videos or custom audio. Or maybe you've been selling custom photos, but you want to sell vid more videos or whatever. Maybe you offer like a little sale or something. Who knows? But you want to put that all on your when you send it, your schedule out weekly unless you have a schedule that just doesn't change but if you're like me like your schedule just always changing so at least if you're sending them to them like hey this is my schedule for the week and you're actually on during those hours um that could work for you so that's regular mail now if you click regular mail and you change it to payment request let's talk about this so I'm going to tell y'all how I like to use it, and I'm also going to tell you how these girls gave me backlash in the Night Flirt forums because of what I liked, and I'm going to tell you what they like, and you can take whatever you want and use it how you want because at the end of the day, it's your, it's your shit. So, payment requests. Once a week, I would also, not the same day that I send the schedule, but I like to send out a payment request. So maybe Mondays or Tuesdays, send out a payment request. Maybe this week it's $5 payment request for a cup of coffee. But think about this. If you have 50 people that follow you in your customer contacts, and you send out a payment request for $5 to buy you a cup of coffee, right? If 10 people send that back, that's $50. That's a quick little $50 that you just got. Like, not all 50 have to buy it, but even if 10, just open and pay it. Like, that's easy little $50. But every week, I make it a different price. So, like, one week, it might be $5 for coffee. The next week, it might be $200 because I want to go shopping and spoil me. But think about it. If only one of your customers sends that $200 back, that's a quick little $200 you just made. So, I like to think of it like that. And that's also not pay requests. Also, if you're more dominant and you have your subs, you can send out submissive um, like requests, their tributes for your subs, or put send out like the guys that call me on the ignore line, and I know they want to be treated like pathetic losers. I send out a dumbass tax as a payment request. Um. um what else there's different little ways you can set this is also I want to get into making buttons but I feel like we're still on like a beginner level in a sense and so I'm gonna make some videos about buttons maybe next month or you know after I get through all of this but I think we need to be caught up on this one before we start using buttons but 
having these payment requests helps with that. Um, or just a come tax. Or if a guy says he wants to send you some money, you request it from him. You can use it that way. I want you to know that whatever pictures, videos, or whatever that you send with a payment request, they do not have to pay you to be able to see that on a payment request. So I need y'all to understand the difference between that and a pay to view. Sorry, my, it's like, I'm drooling this shit? Okay. Um... So yeah, payment request there, they can see whatever you send them. So if you're going to send something cute, make sure it's not something you're trying to sell. Moving along, pay to view. Okay? Now this is the part where I said they didn't like what I had to say. And I'm going to explain my reasonings and I'm also going to explain their reasonings. Okay. I like to use pay to view because when I was when I was actively on OnlyFans or like my friends that are OnlyFans, they're constantly using this feature. I think it's a wonderful feature because what you can do is say you have a, a video that you made, right? So you got this eight to ten minute video, you're about to put it on your night flirt goodies to sell. Okay. You're going to sell that video for $19.99, hypothetically speaking. I don't know what your price is. But just say you, the, you made this 10-minute video, you're going to sell it for $19.99. But for the guys that are already following you, you can give them a pre-sale price, right? What that helps is just constantly boost your sales, give you some more feedback going on that goodie, and make the customers feel like they're appreciated for actually being one of your customers they're constantly calling you giving you money they want to purchase your things you give them a pre-sales tax so you're selling the video for $19.99 maybe you do a $15 pre-sale or a $10 pre-sale or whatever you want for your pre-sale price and you put it on here and you let them know hey this is a special pre-sale price for you because you're my customer i really value you i want to give it to you as a discount but if you purchase it in goodies it's going to be $19.99 so, any new customer that sees that goodie, they'll purchase it for $19.99, but your customers now have this pre-sale price. Now, the Night Flirt Karens that made this whole forum about me, they were saying that that's stupid that I would give my customers, my paying customers, a pre-sale price. That they increase their price for their customers. Now, if you're all about fandom... I can kind of get it, but even still, if someone is my customer and I just rather give them a discounted price, I'd rather not increase my already paying customer's value, but they want to increase it. I don't really know what their reasons are. Oh, this is what they said. Well, they should want to pay you more because they like you. They're already your customer. They should want to pay more, but my thing is I'd rather give them a discount because these, these are obviously girls that don't have like fan sites, like OnlyFans and stuff. But I see the value in giving your customers that pre-sale price. So, um, use it how you want to, but that's how I like to use it. And also, this is also a good way why I said you need to have those customer lists. Because if you have a goodie specifically for sissies, you can send it to your sissies. If you have a goodie specifically for your vanilla guys, for whatever, you can send it to them. Versus sending it as a mass message to all your customers. You can pick and choose your customer list or what list you want to send it to. Um, so that's, that's that one. And then your last one is offer. And like I said... Don't be out here giving away free minutes. I only give, let me tell you the two times that I get free minutes. One, if I miss a call, because that's my mistake that I miss a call, but bitch, you only get a one free minute. Secondly, at the end of the year, you can do this quarterly, you can do this every six months, or you can do this once a year around Christmas time because it just makes them feel a little bit better. Go to your top five paying customers for the year and send them all three minutes. Because if these are your top customers, you know that they're calling you for 30, 40 minutes regardless. So it will make them special for sending them three or four minutes. But that's it. That's the extent of the offers that I do. Run your page how you want. That's you, but that's how I did it. Um, and I just wanted to tell you how you can get the most out of mail. So I'm going to make some more videos and stay tuned.